So this whole side has been done. And then I'll take you back here to the back. I completely forgot I had my camera. I wish I would have been <laughs> vlogging all of this. But we measured out here like where the pool's gonna go. It's actually a decent sized pool, but <laughs> since we have like so much land, I feel like it's gonna look tiny, but I mean, we couldn't build a massive pool just because we have tons of acres. But then here's this side real fast. It's all brick. I posted a picture over on Instagram of just like the bottom and I had several people write and say, is it gonna be white? And I think most of you guys know the answer to that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. I wanna sneak in this way so I can show you guys they cleaned it up today, all the drywall's done. Um, and then like the texture on it, can you see that? It's like called orange peel. So all of that's done. And then the next thing we're waiting for are cabinets, which should be delivered any day. But there is our living room. I wanna take you from this way just cause it's prettier. I came in the back cause our front door is blocked off and so is our um, garage doors. Like there's a lot of stuff out there. But here's when you come in. It's getting dark. Let me come from this way. So I can get away from those windows. There we go. There's the pretty view. The fireplace is looking so good. Um, I don't know if I got to update you guys here, but we are gonna get the fireplace stone that we wanted. So I'm super, super, super excited about that. Look at the pretty sun shining in. This is like the cleanest the house has looked. Um, one of the decisions we made, like last minute he called and he was like, do you want rounded edges or squared off? So you'll have to let me know what you would have done. My sister had a house where it was squared off, super cool and super modern, but like her daughter ran into it as a little girl and she has a scar cause it like hit her forehead and our current house was rounded. So I went rounded and I think it looks really good. But here is everything. I'll take you just so you can kind of see some different areas. I just feel like it's actually looking like a house. Oh, and we have garage doors. They're um, open right now because obviously they're doing bricks, but all the garage doors are up even out here on Chase's building. Obviously it's white, but that's gonna get painted. So they have to come back and paint the garage door and the side door to match the building. So it's gonna be all black when it's all done. And I don't know if they'll do it yet. They'll probably wait and do it when they paint the brick but everything's looking amazing. I'm so glad I had my camera so I can update you guys because this is actually the first video of this. So if I didn't introduce myself or say hello, hello, welcome to Till Vacuum to Us Park. We have a house. <laughs> Before I take you guys out, here's the entryway. I was just telling Chase, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the front office. He likes the view of the back. Um, but I think I'm gonna have my dad make the boys like a bench here so they can see out. Another thing we're doing is we're gonna have extra um, quartz countertop left over from like doing all of the house that I'm having the guy cut. And our like window sills are actually going to be our countertops, which is quartz, because Georgia loves to jump up on the window and he scratches it. You guys saw that if you watched like my home updates or home repairs video. I'm just gonna have it be quartz and some of the rooms that he jumps up on. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. And in this house, we won't have blinds. We'll have window coverings, but not like actual blinds. So we don't have to worry about him doing that anymore. But that's the house. This is only the first update. I'm really praying the next time I turn on this camera and the next time you guys see this clip, which is coming up soon, I'm hoping I'm standing here and there's like cabinets. So let's see. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Time to check on the house. There's been some big changes. So here is 
the mud room. It's dark, so we'll come back later. It's like a rainy day, but you guys can see all the cabinets. So over here, we're supposed to have two more cabinets back there, and this was gonna be pushed back, but it just did not look right, and the cabinets wouldn't have opened well, so that was like poor planning on us and the cabinet maker. So I had this big cabinet pulled forward, and it actually works so much better. Now, what am I gonna keep in this tiny thing? I'm not sure. And then these doors make sense opening up like right here. Oh, okay. oh, that opens up there. But this one was opening up this way and I had them flip it to open up that way. Otherwise, I think it would have been weird to like, I wouldn't been able to stand here because of like the refrigerator's going here and then we have a microwave and then we'll have a sink right here. Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you Another thing I added with cabinets to give us more space is we put a cabinet door here. There couldn't be one back there, but I had them go ahead and extend it back there so I could shove things back there that I don't need often just so we have the storage space because over here we forgot to do that and see how much dead space you lose. So keep that in mind if you're ever like custom building cabinets. Okay, here's the pantry. Chase is kind of helping me with the light. So we put all of these in for like small appliances. And then we've got the shelving, so you can tell there's like a few more pieces that need to get done. Like I said, I'll come back during the day. I know it's hard to see right now. And then here is the kitchen. There's gonna be so much storage. Hey Chase, will you go stand over there? What? In the kitchen for uh, visual, sure. just so you guys can see how tall these cabinets are. How tall are you, Chase? Six foot? Six one. Six one, <laughs> not six foot. And reach your hands as high as you can. <laughs> oh. We're definitely gonna have a ladder, but I just did not want to be short on storage. I've never had a big kitchen. So we, first off what we did is we brought this down. This was supposed to be vaulted all the way across, but I didn't want like floating cabinets. And then we took the cabinets to the top. So exciting. And then that one right down there is a cabinet for my vacuums. I have a vacuum cabinet and that'll be microwave, oven, stove and then the dishwasher and sink will be right here in the microwave and look how dinky this looks that's our refrigerator but it's just because everything's so grand chase just opened it up and they've got it prepped with the outlet so i can hang my vacuums in here and they can charge while they're in here good to go we added this last minute because this would have just been like it would have stopped right there. it would have been dead space which was weird i don't know what i would have decorated with over there and it'll serve such a better purpose like my vacuum so I don't have to go to the garage. They're not in the laundry room. They're just like right in here Perfect. Another cool features we have is like this is for like cooking utensils We got this one. It's hard without having handles on them This is for like the spice rack We did right here the trash can drawer. I can just show you right there Lots of cool features. Here's our linen closet that always turns into a homeschool closet, <laughs> but that's nice. Here's one of the bedrooms. They worked on these closets today too. There we go. And then I'll paint it and add like all the rods in later. Okay, we were just talking about the pocket door and Chase was like, speaking of the pocket door, it's in. Check it out. My builder was like anti <laughs> pocket doors. So was the door guy, which I thought was funny. But isn't that so nice? Then like if the guests are getting ready here, like it'll be my sister and like my nieces, like someone can be in the shower or going to the bathroom and still somebody can be out here getting ready. And it glides like a butter. It does. It's very smooth. smooth. We'll have to check the laundry room in our closet. I didn't notice if they were in. And then, oh, I've never mentioned the wide oak doors. Guys, there's so much change and I haven't had my camera or they're always here working and I don't want to bug them. We even have workers outside right now still doing brick. This is the guest bedroom closet. It's gonna have tons of storage. So you guys always ask me about our built-ins. Like with the builder we use, the same builder built this house that the current house we have and it's just standard for him. Like it's not an upgrade, that's just what he does. So it's super nice. So much change today. I just noticed they put in, what is this called? Like on the outside, it's a window sill. On the inside, it's like a window yeah. stool or a stool, I think. stool, I think. 
Um, but I did not want, they call it dog ears, they call it wings, but I didn't want it to like come out. I just wanted it nice and smooth. Looks good. Look at the geese right there in our pond. It's over there eating, trying to catch my fish. <laughs> Apparently my fish is alone. <sighs> How cute. Okay, now we're gonna talk about doors real fast because I mentioned it over on Instagram, we were having issues. So this was supposed to be a pocket door. And like I mentioned earlier, everybody's like against pocket doors. So I was like, fine, we will make this a normal door. It will make you guys happy, but we kept the other ones. Well, <laughs> this door was installed and it, it like- It opened to about right here. So once they installed it and you open the door up, it was like here. So like to open this door, if you came in from like the outside, you would bam this door because this door will always be open. Yeah, so this wouldn't shut. Or if you need to go to the bathroom, you'd have to close this door. I know it's so hard to explain, but like it wasn't gonna work. It was overlapping to about right there. Yeah. So our option was first the builder said, let's just do double doors right here to make it's shorter, but they couldn't make it in the design we wanted, so we're just putting in a smaller door. So they're gonna frame this off. Same with this one. They had this door installed. You can see them right there. And when you opened it, it hit this wall. So you couldn't open it all the way. And I just didn't like it. The builder said it could stay. I said it couldn't. <laughs> so we'll just frame this off, do a little bit smaller door. They're actually even bigger than the house plans doors. But like when we ordered our doors, the guy made all of our doors bigger to move in and it ended up hurting us on some of these scenarios, as in this one and this one, but it's all gonna be handled, thank goodness. And like the door guy wasn't gonna return our doors and we were just gonna have to order new ones. And like this was a major splurge for us and our builder was like, no, I'll take care of it. <laughs> So he's gonna get them returned and then we'll trade these out for different size doors. But everything else is looking good and then I can't wait to get those wrapped as well. Send a little love and I'll make it back. Send me a letter and a bottle of wine. Telling me I will be fine. Baby, I'm stuck. We just got out to the house. Um, every time I come, there's like orders here or it's super dark. So I'm hoping to give you like a tour of everything that's been updated. Our brick is pretty much finished at this point. They have to work on like the columns in the back. Our builder just called and we're kind of in a debate. I'll show you just in case you guys are curious. He is wanting to put, try to get over here so you can see wood underneath there because we have that big gap and i'm just wanting a brick so we got to figure out what we can do but there is our front door and all this brick will be painted white i feel like i'm getting that question a whole lot so if i haven't said it in this video it will be white but now let me take you inside because lots has been happening so right here we actually had to add a rail we weren't really wanting it but for code reasons i guess if there's more than three steps there has to be one. We said go super cheap because like, I didn't want to order like wrought iron for out here. So we're just gonna paint all that. And then in here, we came by this morning. Let's see if they got some stuff done. Okay, so this is gonna be our entryway bench. And then this, I don't know the last time I showed you guys in here, but originally it was like this. It's even right here. For whatever reason, when we ordered the cabinets, they gave us like, these are shorter than over here. Um, so I liked it even like this, but on the plans, it showed that it was like even at the top. And so we came in <laughs> and they had raised this, um, but we stopped by today and I was like, can you go back and lower it? Cause like when I do backsplash, I wanted it to be even. Whereas if this was up, it would have like jumped up a little bit. Plus with it a little bit lower, I can reach more. And then the reason we left a gap here is that's where I'm gonna like hang my clothes to dry. So we'll add a bar up there, or they will, yeah. um, right, 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 right there, because that's about as high as I can reach. They measured me today. <laughs> <laughs> so we could make sure that I could reach it. But that looks good. I cannot wait to see this. It'll go right here. A big tip, and I'm gonna do a whole video on this 
at one point when we're done building because I have so much to say. Um, but one thing I did was like print off pictures for them and they really do use them because they're always out. So keep that in mind if you're very specific. Now I told them to add, oh yeah, they did it. Shelves up here and they did but this one was supposed to be taller. So all of our shelves are like the same size and so I'm needing some shelves for like bigger items. So we may have to have that one moved. There's always something with building, always. Now we're gonna move on and in here into the pantry. It's always gonna be dark until we get a light, but I love it all in here. It's super blurry, sorry. And then here was the custom shelves we added so that like all my small appliances like toasters and um, crock pots and all of that will have their own little cubby. But here is the kitchen. Um, so I'm gonna walk over here. Last time the island hadn't been really put in, like it was just all kind of floating here. So I'll walk over. Oh, our mantle and shelves are in. I just caught it and look, I don't think you guys have seen this yet. Our beams are wrapped. Our floating shelves, our mantle, ah, it's looking so good. There's like so many like no's and we can't do this and it's good to see that. Okay, so here's the kitchen. There is the island set up. So it's actually a lot wider. They had to put that gap in for our dishwasher. But that's how everything's looking. This right here is the barn door for our bathroom door. Um, but yeah, that's all looking so Our good. Here. Our horse is here. What's its name? It's from Rapunzel. Um, uh, Maximus is the white one. Yes, Maximus. Savannah. We haven't named the, the brown, one, yeah. brown one yet. And we haven't got to talk to the neighbors about their names. So there's the white one over there. There's the brown one. Technically they're not ours, but they're ours. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just in case you're wondering, because I know someone's gonna ask, there is a gap here. Can you see that right there? But it's because this is about to be wrapped in stone, and so they had to leave the gap so they can put all the stone on it. We're gonna do the stone all in the front, and then we wrapped it around this edge. So the whole like fireplace that's bumped out will be covered in the stone. But yeah, that is looking so, so good. Turn it out the door. Oh yeah, I don't think I've shut the door on here yet. So there's our door. Look at that pretty car we have sitting on the front. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's so fun to come over. Okay, so right here you can really see the, the pillars, the columns. And like I said, he's wanting to put wood in there and I just really want all brick. I don't wanna look out and see any wood. But our door is really big too. They framed it out. So I guess he was saying once the carpenters get done, which is really soon, they're gonna be starting all the floors, which is a mess right now. The floors we picked out, they don't have, and that place shut down. And then we picked it out of another place, and he's saying it's like way over budget. And so we went to Lowe's and picked out some. I'm just gonna show you the closet. That's why I'm walking around talking. Um, and now they don't have like, the bull nose edges, which is so he doesn't have to put trim around it. And the trim he wants to use, I'm really not going for that look. So basically there's a few bathrooms that are stressing me out. <laughs> Just a little. They've got a lot of the trim done. Yeah. So they've put all the trim in if there's carpet in the room. They haven't done it on the areas where like the wood floor style stuff's going in. But like all the window sills, our stools are in, it's a stool if it's inside. But yeah, I love coming over here and just like seeing all the changes and this will all be painted white. That's why it's like the cheaper wood. I just know, I think the last couple times I've filmed this for you guys, there was like no light so I wanted to come by. while there was light in here. We had our time change here in Oklahoma, so it's gonna start staying lighter longer. I'm really excited about that. That was one big island. One big island. We were just about to leave and I happened to come back here 
I don't know why, because nothing ever changes back here. And they have this all built in. So we had this made so I could keep like our laundry baskets down here. And then it's hard to get these open right now. I think they put soft clothes on these. Um, oh, and they put the shelves in. This is for like all of our towels. Perfect. And then when we get out of the shower, like you can put your dirty clothes in there, grab a towel. I'll probably put some hooks right here. Um, let me listen to this. Yeah, soft clothes. Didn't even ask for it. I guess we'll get billed for it. Yeah, we'll get billed <laughs> we'll for it. I feel like it was a freebie, but it is not. <laughs> that looks awesome. I thought it was gonna be pushed back a little bit more. I'm having a lot of like deep breaths moments this week of like things aren't coming out the way I envisioned. Just think of it this way. You don't have to go out of your way too deep into here to get yeah. to it. It's just right here convenient. Chase is always trying to make me feel better. <laughs> My life is better. That's the wall right there. I mean, they, they came out as far as they needed to. So we literally just had like this built on like that's our drywall right there. Yeah, there's actually no cabinet structure inside here. That's all drywall. It's cheaper to do that way. Yeah, cheaper to do. Just do the front and make it look like cabinets, but it's all drywall in there. And then laundry basket goes right there. 36 inches, we told them. And I think both will fit. I have two right now, so it'd be nice to have the... So they may put a shelf right here still, possibly, if we want it. I... Go right here. I probably don't want it. I think we have so much oh, storage. Yeah. So we can pile our clothes up high. <laughs> I want it to be able to get as full as it can <laughs> until I have to put it all the way down there. Yeah. Cool. I will say everything I like designed in my head doesn't always come out with our builder <laughs> or the, you know, whoever we're working with. Sometimes they do things so much like better, like better than I could have dreamed of. Yeah. And then other stuff I'm just like, Oh, is it ever gonna end? You have to make so many choices and you make a choice and then something changes. I get messages all the time, like any tips or anything like that. Like I said, like in the beginning of this video, I will do a whole video once we're done. I just wanna finish so I can like complete the full cycle of custom building and then I'll do a whole video on it. I'm gonna tell you like, how to do it or what I would do differently. We'll have all, there, all sorts of videos on it. Yeah. But definitely think twice before you custom build. <laughs> but it is, it's gonna be so worth it. I can't wait to see this out here. I thought about moving it, but they have it in here for a reason. So <laughs> I'll be patient. So many questions about like, why are you moving? You have a beautiful house. This. Look at that view. And look at my sweet horsey out there. <laughs> it's all for him. <laughs> Probably know that's a girl out there. <laughs> this is why we're moving here. No matter what window I look out, we just have a good view. Like he's still there. He's there in our bedroom. He's out the dining. He's out the living room. This is the game room. It just all backs up to him. He's never allowed to leave. <laughs> It's just so calming. We've got people coming in as we're leaving. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because the next video, the floor should be going in. So I'll put that up in what, April's video, but we will leave it here. We have full brick, the cabinets are in. So I think the next time I'll pop on here is when like the floors are going in tile and it's being painted. So for now, this is where we are and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Slip away if I come too far Pick me up when I'm in pieces Oh, that halfway heart of mine is a rolling stone Make me roll right home Halfway heart